Hello everybody, welcome back to another business of trucking video. If you like this kind of thing, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And go to my channel, check out a playlist called Trucking Business Videos for, for more videos a lot like this one. <clears throat> the end of the year is fast approaching and that's everybody's favorite time, right? Time to, uh, time to pay the piper, time to do your taxes. So there's no better time to start thinking about that than right now. Uh, in some conversations with my tax preparer, she's told me that, you know, we sit down and do people's taxes in, in February or March, and when they're done, they're physically mad at me and ready. You know, I I've, I've thought people were going to hit me because of how much taxes they owe. Well, <clears throat> you can prevent that and, and do your tax preparer a huge favor. So <clears throat> what I like to do is just before the end of the year, I like to go see my tax professional for a consultation. And what we do is sit down and do a mock tax return. As if the year ended today, November 30th or whatever. Where am I at? Am I getting a refund? Uh, am I pretty even because of the, the quarterly estimated payments I paid in? Or am I going to owe some money? And if, if I'm going to owe, is it a lot? Is it a little bit? Is it enough I need to be concerned about? Nothing like getting hit with a super surprise tax bill come you know spring that you can't pay you can't afford, and then you think back, oh crap, I should have done something about this. So let's do something about it now. So schedule an appointment with your with a, with your tax professional. Now, if you're in business and there's some intricacies to your industry, like trucking and all these other things, TurboTax is probably not the thing you want to do. I would even say H&R Block is not the thing you want to do. You never know the level of experience or professionalism or, you know, do they have specific knowledge of the trucking industry? Right, you want to you want a tax professional, CPA, tax attorney, uh, something like that along those lines that has specific knowledge of the trucking industry, or whatever else you happen to be involved in. So anyway, I have an appointment for next week, and here's what I'm going to take with me. I keep a spreadsheet all year, one page right here. I printed it out. It's got my my listed expenses on here, my total income for the year so far, and then it totals my expenses, and it gives me my net profit. Uh, so I'm going to take this because that tells them the big story. And then I sit down and I make a list of anything that's not on there, like big ticket purchases. I I bought some trucks and trailers this year. I sold a few trailers. So I have one other page right here. That's what that looks like. So I'm going in there with two pages. We're keeping this simple because we're just trying to get a broad picture. We're going to do a mock tax return. So on this one, I have what we put away for retirement. I have those pieces of equipment. Um, and then and some other business things that I have and other income are all on here. Um, and that pretty much tells the whole story. So we're going to keep it simple and do that. And she's going to say, ah, you're looking good. You, we, we estimated your quarterly is pretty close. Or she's going to say, I, I never get a refund. So she'll probably say, you're going to owe some money. They're going to say, how much? Uh, maybe it's 1000 Hopefully it's not 50000 But if it is, the good news is, we got 30 days here that I can do something about it. So what can we do about it? If we get the news, hey, we got a big tax bill coming. Well, let's do this the smart way, right? If it's not a lot of money, I'll pay it. No sense in going out and buying things that I don't need to save a, a, a small amount of money in taxes, right? But above and beyond that, there's a, there's a lot of things we can do. Now, that being said, First, we take care of the th all the things we have to do. All right, we have to make sure if the truck needs something fixed, we're going to get that fixed. If whatever, if we have some bills to pay, we're going to pay those bills. We're just uh, saying, hey, I have everything I need and I still owe a bunch of money. My favorite thing to do, first off, is if you are self-employed, uh, and especially if you have a spouse or even if you don't, you are eligible to put away a ton of money in retirement accounts these days. Now, if you go back, I have a video explaining most of the different types of retirement accounts, the ups and downs, the, the tax treatment each one of them get. So decide which is right for you. Maybe talk to your tax person and say, hey, I'm thinking about putting whatever, $10,000 in a SEP or maxing out my Roth or uh, doing solo 401k, right? You can, they can help you decide which one's right for you or for the purpose you're trying to achieve. Now, by doing this first, before you go out and buy Chrome or whatever else of this, you get to save taxes and keep the money. 
That's the best of both worlds. An HSA? Are you eligible for an HSA? Oh my gosh, that's the best tax treatment you can possibly get on anything. Max out an HSA. Health savings account. Now, if you're the type of person that says, I ain't, I ain't investing money. I don't believe in all that. Everything's going to crash. I'm going to lose all my money. Well, you don't have to invest the money. You can open an account at wherever, Schwab, Fidelity, Vanguard. And, you know, if you're putting $10,000 in there, put the $10,000 in there, leave it in cash. Don't invest it. It just has to be in the account. It doesn't have to be in the market. Put it in a money market account. Leave it in there right in the cash equivalent. Whatever. So that argument doesn't really hold water. Okay. After that, there, there's a lot more things you can do depending on who you're working with and where you're at. If you're leased onto a company, or if you're if you're the big boss, maybe you could go to your company and say, "Hey, uh, could you just hold a couple paychecks for a few weeks?" Or maybe you could hold off billing a few customers. What I'm getting at is you could defer a little bit of income. Now, if you're a corporation, a little different. I'm just talking about your average sole proprietor on cash accounting. If you're on accrual, some of this may be different, but we're just talking about the concept here. Um, have you made sure that in this these papers you gave your tax person, did you have you remembered everything? Did you remember your per diem expenses as an owner operator? You know, you can deduct uh, per diem expenses that a company driver possibly cannot. What about vehicle mileages? Last year my tax deduction for my vehicle mileages was $5400. That's worth that's worth keeping track of, right? That saved me eh, uh, probably fifteen hundred dollars in taxes. Keep a log in your vehicles. Uh, all kinds of things like that. Do you have a home office? Um, do you, do you rent a storage shed and you keep tires and all kinds of things in it, right? So after that, maybe you can you can pre buy some things. Are you going to need tires in March? M might as well buy them now. If you if you have a tax situation, you could take the expense this year and put the tires on next year. Um, I don't I'm not a big fan of buying things that you don't need just for the sake of buying them and saving taxes. Uh, it's just not it's just not sound financial strategy. Uh, prepay. Can you prepay your insurance policy through the say if your uh, policy expires in August of next year? You're already buying into the policy. Could you just prepay up, prepay it off uh, for the rest of that time period? Take the deduction this year. Uh, we can worry about next year and always employ some strategies earlier in the year to save on next year's taxes. Uh, do you do you have certain dues or fees that you pay, and monthly expenses that you pay regularly for your business that you could prepay or settle up on? Um, that's, uh, that's another way to, uh, strategy here you could save some taxes on. Uh, maybe it's time to reevaluate your equipment. Have you been hemming and hawing for the last three, four months about should I buy a truck? Should I replace my truck? Should I not? Do I need a different trailer? Do I need to put a unit, new unit on my reefer unit? Do I need to put a new running gear under my trailer? Uh, I know I'm, you know, I'm kind of feeling like my transmission's going out. I might need one in a few months. Do it now, uh, because that's those aren't the, those aren't things that you're not going to need if you know you need them, and you can uh, derive a side an, an additional benefit from it. In addition to getting the new, new transmission you need. You get the tax deduction for this year instead of next year. That's a that's a win-win. So a lot of things like that that you can do. Don't forget to keep good records. Keeping good records is, is key. Uh, I have uh, some older videos on kind of my record-keeping system for trucking. Uh, if I was to ever get audited, it's all right there. It's simple. It's going to make it go smooth and easy. Uh, I like to have paper copies of everything, receipts, print them out. Don't forget anything. Uh, it, it all adds up to being in the air. If you're, if you're on YouTube all the time and you have channel memberships or you give people super chats, go to your Google email and print the receipts out for, for consulting, for education. It's legit. If you're learning something from, from my channel or somebody else's channel and, and you happen to leave them a, a super thanks or a super chat or, or uh, belong to a channel membership... That's a that's a legitimate business expense. You're you're getting an education and 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 in a certain fashion, I do consulting. You know, it's a consulting fee also. So, be really thorough 
It's only to your benefit. And if you need a little help, try to get somebody to help you. Some people are just, you know, that's not me. I just like to throw everything in a box and let somebody else deal with it. Well, don't make that person your tax person because they don't know your day-to-day. They know numbers and totals, right? Maybe maybe you can have a friend or a family member sort that out for you. Compile some totals and take the totals to your tax person. Besides, it's going to save you a lot of money. Is it cheaper to pay your your, your kid or your, your wife uh, 20 bucks an hour to sit there and do it or your tax preparer $150 an hour to sit there and do it? Long story short, it's a good time. Start now. Uh, your tax preparer can give you way more tax saving strategies than, than, than I can right here in a video. So be proactive, be prepared. We'll see you next time.